Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 10 mechanical and sound wave. So for in this video, we are going to discuss 10.5 exercise 5 Doppler effect. So equations for Doppler effect in general is equal to F observer equal to V plus V observer V minus V source times the frequency of the source okay here we will put plus minus for the velocity of the observer and also speed of the source huh? so meaning that we need to consider when we put positive meaning that it is approaching or come nearer okay we put negative when it is away Okay, either is away from the source or away from the observer. Okay, so remember to put positive when it's approaching, negative when the source or the object is away. Okay, okay, exercise 5. The siren of the police car at rest admit a predominant frequency. So this is the frequency of the source. What frequency will you hear if you are at rest? And the police car is moved with 25 meter per second. Okay, so this is V observer, this is V for the source. Okay, when the car is moving towards you, A, meaning that initially this is the observer and this is the police car, and the police car is moved towards the observer. Okay, so on the equation F equals to V plus V observer, V minus V source times the frequency of the source. Okay, so we know that V speed of sound is 340 plus observer is at rest, so meaning that V observer initially at zero. And then speed of the sound 340 minus, okay, so V source because the police car is towards, okay, so when it's towards, meaning that we must put positive 25 times the frequency of the source 1600. Okay, so therefore our value we will get 340 over 315 times 1600. So therefore we will get 1726.98 hertz. Okay, 1B. If the police car away from you. Okay, so meaning that if this is observer and the police car already passing through you and away from the observer so f observer is equal to v plus v observer v minus v source times the frequency of the source okay so the speed of the sound is 314 observer is not moving over 314 and the siren is away huh? so meaning that minus negative 25 because it's away okay negative is away times 1600 so therefore 340 over 365 times 1600 so finally our frequency heard by the observer is equal to 1490.4 hertz okay so next we go to questions number two Okay, a figure shows O is the stationary observer. Okay, so this is the no, observer. Okay, the sound source moves away from the observer towards the wall T with the speed of 40 meter per second. So meaning that this is the V source. The frequency of the source, this is the frequency of the source, 1000. Okay, and they give you the speed of the sound is 340. Okay, so number one, determine the wavelength in front and also behind the source if there is no wall okay so meaning that the first one is this is the observer and this is the let's say this is the source the first one is when the source is in front of the observer okay so f observer equals to v plus v observer v minus v source times the frequency of the source Okay, so since the speed of the sound is 340 and the observer is not moving, so it's plus 0 over 340. Source is towards, so towards meaning that it's positive 
40 meter per second times the frequency 1000 okay so we will get 340 over 300 times 1000 okay so therefore we will get 1133.3 hertz okay so this is when the the source is towards the observer okay so we want to find wavelength where we know v equals to f lambda therefore our lambda is equals to v over f where v just now the speed of the sound is 340 and the frequency that we get is equal to 1133.3 so therefore the wavelength that we will get is equal to 0 0.3 meter Okay, next one, where it is away from the observer, meaning that the car, the siren or the police car is away from the observer. Okay, so our frequency heard by the observer is equal to 340 plus 0 over 340 minus because the source is away. So when we say away, you must put negative 40 times the frequency of the source 1000 so we will get 340 over 380 times 1000 so the frequency heard by the observer is equal to 895 hertz okay so we want to find the wavelength eh, behind the source so our wavelength is equal to v over f where V is 340, the frequency is 895. So therefore, we will get 0 0.38 meter. Okay, next one, we want to find the appearance frequency. So appearance frequency is, is actually the frequency heard by the observer. So we want to find F0, where the source is actually away towards the wall. And this is the observer. Okay. So our frequency observer is equal to V plus V observer V minus V source times the frequency of the source. So V, the speed of the sound is 340. Observer is not moving, so it's 0 over 340 minus because the source is away. So when we say away is negative 40 times the frequency of the source 1000 okay so therefore our answer is 340 over 380 times 1000 okay so actually the answer we will get 895 hertz okay similar like just now what we have found okay next one find the apparent frequency again apparent frequency is the frequency of the observer heard by the observer caused by the reflection on the wall Okay, meaning that the frequency reflected back to the observer. So before that, we want to we must find first what is the frequency received first, eh? received by the wall. The frequency of the wall is actually the apparent frequency received by the wall. Okay, so our equation V plus V observer V minus V source times the frequency of the source. Okay, so it's 340 plus 0 because V observer now we are referring is the wall so wall is not moving so it's equal to 0 over 340 minus the source is moving approaching to the wall so it's positive 40 times 1000 okay so therefore our equation we will get 340 over 300 times 1000 so the frequency received by the wall is 1133.3 hertz okay so now this frequency received by the wall it will reflect back and heard by the observer okay so meaning that now we are taking the wall and the observer okay so f of the observer received is equal to 340 plus the observer is not moving over 340 minus the source so the wall is the source because the wall is reflecting the frequency back so the wall is also not moving over the frequency reflecting back is 1133.3 
Okay, so our F observer is actually will receive back the same frequency as the wall receives. So it's equal to 1133.33 hertz. Okay, so the answer here is actually wrong. Eh? So the answer is 1133.33 hertz. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. Okay, thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye.